Hello, everybody. I know nobody's probably going to be here, but I'm going to do a reading for each of the signs. It's probably just going to be one card, but we'll just kind of see what comes up. We're going to start with Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. What card do we have for Aries? Wow, that just wants to come right out. Appreciation. Appreciation is for Aries. So for Aries, this says, appreciating the good that exists in my here and now expands my awareness to all that is good in the universe. All right. I get the feeling this is about appreciation as it relates to someone that you're very close to. Um, I don't know how to explain that. That's the feeling that I get. It's about... Aries, you need to show appreciation, love, and ador adoration towards somebody that you're in a close one-on-one -on -one relationship with. This can be romantic, but it does not have to be. This could be your friend, your mother, your, your daughter, your son. It could be anything like that. But I get this feeling that there's a need to really submerge yourself and allow yourself to show your true appreciation of someone in your midst, okay? For most of you, this will be a feminine figure. For most of you, this will be somebody that brings you peace in your heart for whatever that means. This person may have lived, I'm going to say, three lifetimes with you, whether you're aware of that or not, but... Um, also, I'm getting some Native American vibes, so I don't know if that is relevant or not, but that's what I'm getting here. All right, so that was for Aries. Now let's pull a card. What's the second sign? The second sign is Taurus, so we're going to do that. Hello, um, who's in here? DJ Wing and the Ice Wolf. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for being here. Y'all, please tap those hearts if you can. Um, because I want to grow these lives where I can actually do readings for people kind of on a um, quick, quick run. Yes, Taurus is next. We're going to see what comes up. My cards are feeling kind of weird. Taurus, are you feeling a little bit displaced in some sort of way? Because a lot of times when that happens, that's, it's feeling awkward or something like that, maybe. Ah, that's probably the truth. This is about embracing change. Okay, so something about your situation may be changing. It may be something that you need to flow into. Okay, that's kind of the feeling. Hi, Adam. Um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Embrace the change. Accept it. Allow the tides to flow. Allow your emotions to flow. Tell the truth about how you feel. I'm just, okay, so I'm going to read the card to you because I didn't look at that yet. It says, with every loss, I understand that something new is about to be birthed beyond what I can imagine. So I do feel like that. Let your energy flow. Let your emotions flow and, and really flow into whatever this new situation is. Allow yourself to feel. I get nothing. I must be bad. Could you give me a reading? Big time. Okay. Um, I'm not doing personal readings right now. I do personal readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, those are $30 for 20 minutes. And the link, the email address to do that is in my bio. Occasionally, I'll do one card readings for people on these lives though. And I can do those, but not right now. Right now, I'm doing Zodiac signs. All right. So that was Taurus. Taurus, I feel like there's something where you need to release, let go, and allow yourself to feel. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Because I feel like your emotions are really deep about something. I don't know what that is talking about. All right, so let's pull a card for the third sign, which is uh, Gemini. So my Gemini people, we're going to pull a card for you and see what comes up. Have I done Pisces? No, Pisces will be the very last one because they are the 12th sign. I can't see. I missed some of your chat, guys, because it goes by too fast. If I see it, I'll respond to it. But if I don't, I apologize. I thought talking about Pokemon. That's my other half. Awesome. Okay. Gemini. I got the word fuel. I don't know what that means just yet. Fuel. Ooh. 
put the pedal to the metal as it relates to any kind of creative projects that you may be thinking about. If it's not creativity, um, this may be about a Pisces person. This may be something that was hidden. This could be something that's going on from the past even. I don't know. But it says, creative cocooning is a freedom I give to myself. I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. I, I feel like you're not being honest about what it is that brings you peace. That's what I'm honestly feeling. Okay? So... I don't feel like you have to explain yourself is another thing. Maybe you feel like you have to explain yourself. You don't have to explain yourself. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I'm so glad I can be live too. Hi, Jim and I. Oh, Adam. Hello. Yeah. Um, Jim and I, for some of you, I just heard that you're literally going through a spiritual awakening. I don't know what this means. For some of you, it could be like leaving the nest, so to speak. For some of you, this could be just, you know, heading into a direction of things that nourish you more fully. Some of you are like getting divine guidance. Some of you are even dealing with like spirit communication. Can you tell me? I don't, I'm doing um, Zodiac readings right now. I'm not doing personal. Um, sorry, that's throwing me off. Let me, let me, let me tune into this for a second. Okay, breath work, Gemini. No matter what's going on with you, my feeling is that breath work would help you a lot. If you don't know what that is, maybe Google it, go to YouTube, look up breath work. Something about that, I feel like it's going to help you through some of the challenges that you're experiencing right now. And I'm also hearing don't wait. Whatever that means, don't wait. Okay. All right, let's go to the fourth sign, which would be Cancer. Interesting. Cancer, oh my gosh. I guess I'm not going to be able to pull that card because too many fell out. I don't know which one it was. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. I will tell you which one is face up, though. Um, the one that is face up is in the flow. Get into the flow. Allow your creativity to really take you into some faraway places, faraway lands, into your fantasy world even. Maybe it's talking about being more, you know, fan, fantasy in the bedroom even. It could be that. But this is, it to me, it feels like let your imagination just go, whatever that means, because it's in that place where your magic happens, okay? All right, and then what's next? Mm hmm... Fifth sign is Leo. It's a train wreck. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many fortune tellers on TikTok, but I'm not a fortune teller. No cards can reveal anything about you. Awesome. Why are you here? <laughs> Bye. Um, let's see. I love how people do that. They like fuss about readings and stuff. It's like, why are you here then? You're wasting your time and mine too. Um, all right. So Leo. Ooh, are you having body shaming issues? Is somebody body shaming you or your body shaming them? Could be something about that or maybe you're just self-conscious about your body. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. For some of you, what is that? It's like having a hard time coming to terms with, with who you are if it's not that. I don't know what this means. So it says, I honor and embrace all of my body. I am receptive to her specific needs. Okay, so if it's not that for you guys, it may mean that you need to be paying more attention to what it is that you're eating and drinking and making sure that these are things that are actually nourishing, nourishing you and bringing you good health. Okay, this is so weird. Um, people make, no, this is not giving people life advice. I'm going to, uh, manage, block, confirm. Okay, that person is gone. We don't like that energy. All right. Um, Leo. For some reason, I don't feel like that's for every Leo, though. Let me pull it. I know this is going to sound weird, but I feel like I need to pull another card for Leo for whatever reason. The 
power of support. That's the other one that I'm getting. Be comfortable in who you are. Maybe you're afraid to ask for support, to ask for help, to ask for guidance. It could even be that. There's no shame in that. For some of you, this could have to do with family, your roots, your home, your stability. But it's also about recognizing the support that you already get for whatever means, okay? I'm just telling you. For some of you, you're not seeing the support that you already have, meaning that you've got a skewed vision of what support you can have, what you do, uh, whatever, yeah. All right, let's go on. Um, the sixth sign is Virgo, so we'll do a card for Virgo real quick. Thank you guys, everybody who's come in here. God, please make sure to keep hitting those likes because like I said, I want to like build this up so that I can start doing some quick fire questions for you guys. The collective reading has already been done and I actually did one also on YouTube if you'd like to check that out. My channel is called Triple Moon Inspirations Tarot. Definitely go check out my channel, Triple Moon Inspirations Tarot, because the readings are longer there because I'm allowed more time and that kind of stuff. Um, all right, let's let's look at Virgo. Like I said, I apologize, guys. If I miss your chat, your chat, it's not intentional. I really do intend to respond to you, but I get sidetracked by the cards or the message or whatever. Virgo. You are waking up, man. You are waking up to the reality of what is your life. This is what I'm seeing, okay? This says the inner wakefulness. I'm completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. If this has not already happened, I feel like it's coming to fruition, meaning you're starting to see what things really are, not what people have told you they are, but what they actually are because I got a big third eye energy there. Some of you could be psychics and intuitives yourself because I will say Virgos are most underrated intuitive sign I've ever seen because they have a more grounded intuition versus the what's it the popular water signs are so psychic. Virgos more psychic. I'm just telling you because they trust in what they see. Um I'm also going to tell you, though, Virgo, be very careful as it relates to any health issues that you may already have. Make sure to pay attention to that. Be very self-aware of your physical body also, okay? Also, make sure that if you have a passion about something that you want to speak, don't hold it in anymore, okay? Release it. Let it out. Let it go. All right. What's next? Um, seven would be Libra. Thank you for telling them how to how to like. Yeah, just tap the screen as much as you can. I'm not asking you to like kill your fingers doing it, but let's kind of get when people more people like it, the the video gets sent out where people other people can see it. Libra, yours is very um, very pointed very pointed, basically telling you to sit with your discomfort. And nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. But at this point in time, you're being asked not to avoid the discomfort, not to run from the discomfort, not to uh, slink away. Libra, you're being told to sit with it, to experience it, to deal with it, and to grow from it instead this time, okay? It says, um, at times of discomfort, I courageously seek my soul essence, which is clear, pure, and luminous. So whatever this is about, Libra, don't let fear, um, don't let discomfort keep you from doing what you need to do. It's some sort of transition maybe that you're feeling uncomfortable about but it's for the highest good. It's going to bring you better stability, especially if it's relating to family, roots, home, stability, any of those subjects, okay? So please set with it. Don't use escapism. All right, let's move on. 
Um, the eighth sign would be Scorpio. Scorpio. These cards are called the Soulful Woman. And I've just recently started using them again because I felt like I actually like them now. Whereas when I first got them, I was kind of like, eh, they're okay. But, but now I feel like, okay. Oh, Scorpio, I got this major feeling, even though the card does not say this, I got this major feeling where you, for a lot of you, you need to reach out to people like you. It's almost like an advocate for other people that are like you or are of the same mindset or, um, I don't know what that means, facing the same challenges even. The soulful woman, yeah. It says, my service, no matter how great or small, is a conscious act of co-creation in the world. So I'm going to tell you, like, I feel because of the wording of the card too, maybe you're feeling like your contribution is insignificant, but it's not. Your contribution is huge. You are a safe place, a safe haven to somebody or can be to somebody around you. And you need to embrace that. You have a new path to follow that something along that line for a lot of you but you've got to be willing to fly, so to speak, is what I'm getting. So take that different road and, and see yourself in that way. Let's go on. So we've got the ninth sign would be Sagittarius. Sagittarius the Philosopher. Let's see. Okay, that was quick. You got this one too. Some of you may need to take a time out. That's the feeling I'm getting for Sagittarius. This card means something different every time I look at it, but for Sagittarius, it's kind of like you really need to take a break. You really need a time out in some sense of the word. Maybe your responsibilities have been overwhelming or there's just been too much going on right now and you need time to, to sit back, breathe, and nurture yourself here because maybe it's like you've been burning the candle at both ends. It could be something like that. Um... Yeah, there, you've been facing some sort of challenges, it looks like, as it relates maybe to something that was hidden. I don't know. This is going to be for some of you. Something that was hidden or maybe something from the past could just even be just psychological. But this is like talking about you need to give yourself a break from these challenges, some time to breathe. All right, so let's go to number 10 would be Capricorn. So Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn? Pull a card for them. Cap okay. These cards want to come out fast. Aww. Soul's journey. Soul's journey, a spiritual journey that you're on for, and it's relating to your higher calling your car purpose i don't even know how to word this but it feels very spiritual there's like a spiritual type of new beginning for capricorn people it could have something to do with siblings it could have something to do with contracts agreements negotiations maybe even something that's local or maybe learning something new but it's elevating your consciousness and and submersing you into that soul's journey it says, living from the soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. Okay, so that's what I've got. Also feel this one. It's like nurturing of your soul body. You take that as you like, Capricorn, but I feel like that's what it is. Nurture your soul body. Maybe you've been really good at taking care of your physical body, or maybe you've been taking care of all of your financial responsibilities but it's talking about take care of your spirit body now, okay? All right, let's go to, oh, I just got a chill on my left side. Some of you, your guides are working with you strong and hard too. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting confirmations on that one. Even my crown chakra. Um, 11th is going to be Aquarius. It's serious. I can believe it. Aquarius, it feels very serious. 
Aquarius. Okay. Let's see what that one is. Ah, uh, Aquarius. If you have questions about something, if you've been in doubt, if things have been unclear to you, you may have been using a negative filter and assuming things that were untrue. Or maybe somebody was doing this to you. It could be either way, okay? But it's saying to ask questions. Ask questions. Don't assume. Come out and say what you need to say. It says, when I ask questions of my inner being, I discover that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me. So for some of you, this has to do with a romantic partner. For some of you, this has to do with a child. For some of you, this may be some sort of creative project that you're working on, and maybe you're not quite sure how to engage or complete or take it further. Ask questions, even if that means asking questions of your guides. But but I feel, you know, there there's something where you're you're needing to not assume and to not be fearful to ask questions or to ask for help even, whatever that means. All right, so let's see what's next. We did Aquarius, which is 11. So let's move on to number 12, which would be Pisces, which is the very last zodiac sign. See what card comes out for Pisces people. Remember, these readings are general. They may or may not resonate with you, and that's okay. Come back the next time. Maybe it will resonate with you if it doesn't, but I can hardly see how these wouldn't resonate with most of you because I'm feeling them. All right, Pisces. There we go. Oh, Pisces. You're learning to work with grace, and what I mean by that is that you're learning to stop trying to manipulate situations to go in this direction or that direction. Um, it's about embracing change, but doing so in a graceful manner, allowing things to flow rather than trying to manage them for whatever that means. So it's about opening up, allowing things to be as they are. This could be about a friendship, okay, for some of you. If you're dealing with a friend who seems like they're out of sorts or they're um, discontented or they're not being very open with you, just be graceful. Allow them that time and space to, to do that, okay? Um, also, as it relates to what your heart wants, stop trying to micromanage that. Like, allow yourself to flow with ease and grace and and don't try to put yourself on a timestamp or a spreadsheet or, or something like that, which I don't think most Pisces really do that, but I'm sure sometimes you have that. But your thoughts, your thoughts right now are so important. Make sure that your thoughts are graceful, not only towards yourself, but also towards other people as well, okay? Allow people time and space. Give them the freedom, you know, whatever that means. What else do I want to say? also heard no judgment. I have no idea what that means. Maybe it's saying just don't be judgmental. Just let it go. Don't be judgmental at all. Okay.